Hi my YouTuber friends, this is Skypunk again with another video. We got an awesome guy from Cranford, New Jersey who's building a camper vehicle. It's not in the process of being finished. Actually, you know, let him tell you. Hey, this is Steve Ike, the crazy Cranford cowboy with my DIY special 2002 F-150 King Ranch crew cab. So we have a short five foot, six foot bed here, a five foot, six inch bed. We have tow hitch with anti-sway bars. If you're gonna pull a little trailer, always have the anti-sway bars. We've got oh, yeah. the ladder on the tailgate. Awesome. Get in and out of the back. Joe come lift up the other side. That's his son, by the way. Awesome son. He's got his own skills too. Music. Gotta enclose the back end here. So put foam uh, padding that looks like wood on the floor. And then wood panel I had left over in my attic uh, on the sides of the truck. I have a winch and LED light bar in the bed. Um, and then put plexiglass with a, a slide through window to my cab. Uh, it's a raised fiberglass camper shell on a steel and wood box frame. Wow. The, uh, the fiberglass camper shell I got used for $200 on uh, Facebook Marketplace. I got the headache rack and ladder rack that I built all this out of for a hundred bucks on Facebook. Put it together, welded it with a, a buddy of mine and did some carpentry work. And then we made a folding bed platform, no legs required, only one <laughs> pin. So awesome. you just pull the Fucking hitch pin right there, it folds right down when the horse is not in the back yeah. of the trailer. Hey, you want to show me how you do it? Oh, absolutely. Oh, hell yeah. Watch up there. Adjustments. That's okay, man. That's okay. Be careful. Awesome. I so love this alternative living. Bed falls down. Yeah. I remember, guys. It's not finished yet. Wait till it's all done. You just pull out the pin. And I hang the pin right there so I don't right. forget about it. <laughs> Definitely don't want to lose that. That is awesome. Right and it's strong, you can it's see. It's not a cowboy, it's cow hide. <laughs> oh, with yeah. The hair on it. Look at that. And because my bed platform yeah. holds over a thousand pounds, I'm not that heavy. There you go. That is and awesome. It holds <laughs> right up. Oh, definitely. When you finish with it, put the pin back in. Alternative living, that's the way to do it. And it does Cheaper fall, way to live. Doesn't fall down. Oh yeah. <laughs> that's bunk rock. We can take a look up front. Oh, definitely. And a shoreline over here on the driver's side. Uh, what's this, a generator? It, yeah, that's a, an electric, uh, well, it creates electricity. It's a gas powered generator. Okay. Tailgater 2 from Harbor Freight. Harbor Freight high lift jack. Wow, Some awesome. of my recovery tools, additional uh, cords that reel up right here on the sides. You might want to come around this angle. Okay. So. Oh, sorry. There you go. <laughs> you can get these Home Depot, wherever, and then they'll just crank right back up. You put it out, but you'll have additional uh, power. Yeah. Oh, exactly. Tough stuff, fold out shower tent. Oh, okay. Sweet. You unzip. Two but you press two buttons, it pops out into a square. It's got the weighted rods okay. falls down, so you have your your tent to take a shower or your folding collapsible toilet for privacy to answer Mother Nature. We yeah. have a 15 gallon water uh, tank, pressurized, heated from Harbor Freight, 70 bucks that supplies the water for my shower. We have two five gallon jerry cans that will flow directly into my main tank with the T valve. Uh, waterproof storage bins in between the two jerry cans from Home Depot. A full size spare mounted up on the roof rack. A 52 inch LED light bar up here on the roof above the moon roof. Yeah, awesome. We have a 12,000 pound a heavy duty winch and another light bar up here on the front. I'm looking, of, I'm looking to get one of these put on my van too. A lot so of people down the road. Said, why didn't you build the big bumper and put the you winch don't need there? That. You can take out the pin that locks this in. If you need to pull yourself forward, this is great. Well, if you need yeah. to pull yourself backwards out of the mud, 
I can pull the pin, put it on the back, and pull myself out backwards. There you go. There you go. Versatility. Hello. <laughs> Versatility. Duh. Let's take a look at the other side. Okay. You got to follow you around. <laughs> awesome. So, yeah, of course, my other jerry can. More recovery tools, more electrical power. Oh, definitely. So, axe, pick I got this, axe. too. This is awesome, too. Like I said, I got this. I bought this yeah, other day. Yeah. I did a video uh, on that. The quick fist uh, monkey grip. Yes. Uh, 12, 12 foot uh, awning. Okay. Nice. And then these little doors will all be finished. This holds my ramps. Okay. This stores my ramps for my horse. That I put the ramps right here, and, and my two on these, motorized one on each side. electric horse goes right up into the uh, bed of the truck. Okay. And so, and I have a uh, my, for my cooking situation. Since I have a motorized electric horse, I made a actual functional working chuck wagon that is no higher than the tailgate goes right onto the receiver hitch. It has a Coleman two burner stove, a barbecue grill, an igloo cooler, an actual chuck box that stores all my cooking supplies and utensils. And I have a lockable airtight, watertight place to keep all my food. And it's all on a utility wagon on wheels. And it fits right into my receiver hitch. And I don't even have to lift it. I wow. roll the wagon over. You can stay in the video if you want. I don't crank care. Crank up the, the, you the hide, jack don't care. to the right height. I love it. Push it right in and pin it. And down the road we go. And All so right. I have a complete mobile kitchen. Sleeping sweet. quarters, shower, bathroom, everything. Oh, hell yeah. a short bed pickup. Yeah, that is awesome. Because the wrench, I want to get the wrench for mine. I want to get the wrench to put on my van. Put a wrench in the mine so I can pull the wrench. So if I get stuck in the bush, I can pull myself out. Exactly. I want to get a wench I'm gonna, uh, and, and put my stronger wheels on it for my van too and everything. Same thing. So but, so check out all these videos of the crazy, to see the horse that goes in here, check out the crazy Cranford Cowboy. About 27 TV interviews and 38 million views means it shares on social media. Yeah. Oh yeah. Do, 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 uh, do you tell them, do you tell them, uh, do you have the um, email and stuff they can oh, get, get yeah. contact that? Uh, contact me on Facebook, Stephen, S-T-E-P-H-E-N, Bakke, B-A-C-Q-U-E. I'm always looking to team up with other van lifers that's got cool ideas. Hell yeah! Share with me. If I have a cool Woo! idea, maybe I can share with you. That's what it's all about. And, oh, hell yeah. Simple Live living. Live free, brothers. Live free. That's what it's all about. Oh, I love it. Awesome. Same with, my, same with me. That's my thing. That's it. That is awesome. That is awesome. And we'll do, we'll do a part two on this video. We'll do a part two on the video when he has. We're going to see his camper trailer. As well, Absolutely. and as well, is is the tell me about your camp tell me about your camp trailer that you're oh. building. Uh, well, if, if you want, we can go take a look. <laughs> wow! Oh, you want to take? Okay, okay, okay guys, we're gonna do we're gonna do a part two. Anyway, keep it sweet, keep it nice, keep it sweet. Wait, keep it. Oh, I messed up again. That's the YouTube for you. Oh, uh, you know what? I'm I'm fucking rubbish anyway. Anyway, we'll see you in the next part two. All right, I'll see you out. Keep it nice, keep it sweet, and keep it real. Live alternative living. All necessary. Don't pay high rent. Stop paying high bills. Live the way you want to live every time. Anyway, we're Freedom. out. Freedom. Freedom, baby. Freedom. Oh, yeah. We're out. See you in the next video. A part two. <laughs>